For months, they felt in limbo. Finally, some movement to give these dancers hope for the future. The Royal Academy of Dance, one of those to benefit from government funding today, to the tune of £600,000. Music to the ears of retired ballet star and president of the school, Dame Darcy Bussell. Without it, we wouldn't be able to manage at all. All these students that come here to train as dance teachers, what they do, how they go out to the communities, um, it, it, it changes so many lives. This funding is only for the next six months and up until spring. What happens after that? I know, well, can we just ask for more, please? <laughs> It's one of almost 1,400 venues to get a share of this COVID fund for the arts, including Bristol's Old Vic Theatre and the Yorkshire Sculpture Park. But not everyone's a winner. Thousands of organisations and individuals have lost out, including freelance sound technician Isabella de Biaze. It makes me feel really like helpless, the fact that the money's going somewhere else, of course, gives me the sensation that I'm, I'm useless. But this government-backed advert from 2019 has overshadowed its announcement today. After gaining traction on social media, it suggested a ballet dancer retrain and work in cybersecurity. It's now been pulled, but not before causing embarrassment. I agree with her. I think it's crass and it, does, it sends a, a signal that we, we don't support um, arts, which is not true. I believe that it relates to a, a previous campaign and was shared by a partner organisation. It certainly wasn't approved by me. The funding announced today will help some, but this industry is still in crisis. Sajal Karia, ITV News.